My name is Andrew Barnes. I'm one of the senior aquarists here at Sea Life Sydney Aquarium. I help to look after our two beautiful dugongs, Ping and Maru. When our founders abandoned calves, they were less than a month old. Uh, they're quite unique animals. They're two of only six dugongs on display anywhere in the world. A very long-lived animal, 50 to 60 years, is a normal lifespan for a dugong. So Pig's currently 15 years old. He actually seems to have just gone through his teenage years. He's starting to mellow out. He's a big animal, he's 300 kilos. On average, about 40 kilos each. A big part of the day is, is preparing the lettuce. Dugongs have evolved to feed on the bottom of the ocean to the ground. Their jaw is angled down at about 70 degrees. I'm probably one of the few people in the world that has done years and years of work with elephants and with dugongs. And, and, and I look at an elephant's face and I look at a dugong's face and I see a lot of similarities that people would not normally see look at their eyes and there's a thought process that's going on there and there's a there's recognition so the way a dugong would use tusks in the wild they lift their head up and they would break with those tusks and leave some nice gouge marks if you saw a wild dugong and you see a lot of gouge marks and scratches they're all concentrated around their back. And the reason for that is the skin on a dugong's back is very thick um, and it's the least vulnerable part of their body. So of course rolling over and preventing your belly is, is the most vulnerable you can be. Spending six years working with me so he has a level of comfort to allow me to do things that he won't allow other people to do. They usually suckle for up to about 18 months, but um, generally they're going to stay with mum for even up to three years. Well, he looks quite bulky and quite fat. That's not blubber. The thing with the dugong is they're a tropical animal, so they're not designed to live in cold water. They don't have that blubber or that fat layer to keep themselves warm. In the wild, they usually say 22 degrees is about the, their limits below 22 degrees and you'll find that through winter dugong's behaviour will change and they'll start moving to deeper water where there's less change in temperature. I'm one of the, the luckiest people to, to have the opportunity to look after these amazing animals. So much that we still need to learn about them so we're going to have them for a long time and learn lots and lots of them.